What are the most dangerous bugs in the world? This is a question often asked by people worldwide, many of whom find it difficult to distinguish between insects, arachnids, and other creepy crawlies. One thing that we can say for sure is that these bugs come in all shapes and sizes, with some being more dangerous than others. Some are predatory, while others feed on nectar or pollen from flowers. However, dangerous bugs have one thing in common. They can pose serious threats to human beings. I doubt if any other bug could be as dangerous as these. If you find any, remember to share them in the comment section below. However, these are the bugs that we deem to be some of the most dangerous in the world due to their size or cunningness. Here are the 20 most dangerous bugs in the world. Number 20. Ticks. In addition to being bothersome parasites that feed on your pet's blood, ticks can spread harmful diseases to humans and animals. Ticks can spread many diseases, from bacterial and viro to protozoal and parasitic illnesses. In other words, this is such a varied disease incubator that it interests biologists first and foremost, competes with mosquitoes second, and most crucially, drives pet owners crazy. The life cycle of a tick has four stages, egg, larva, nymph, and adult. The ticks leave their host after mating and re-enter the environment. One female tick can lay between 1,500 and 5,000 eggs in her lifespan. This number can be substantially higher in some species. This is where a little math can help us understand why tick infestations can be so severe. Ticks can live up to a year and a half without a victim, unlike other ectoparasites like fleas, which pass away after a few weeks or months if they cannot feed. The way that ticks spread disease is somewhat disgusting. It injects the infections inside it into the victim when feeding on its host because it regurgitates its digestive contents. Victims' bloodstreams are contaminated with bacteria, viruses, protozoa, and nematode larvae. A tick must must remain attached for at least 20 hours before it may spread disease through a bite. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Sydney Funnel Web Spiders Sydney funnel webs are reputed to be the most infamous of all spiders and are thought to be extremely dangerous. While most of this is justified, some of it is overblown. Sydney funnel webs are lustrous, dark brown to black spiders with spinnerets, organs that spin silk that resemble fingernails. A sizable mating spur protrudes from the middle of the second pair of legs on males. Sydney funnel webs exhibit aggressive behavior when challenged, rearing and showing off their formidable teeth. They perform better in locations with sandy clay, shale, or basaltic soils because these soil types can better hold on to moisture. Ah! They are mostly found in protected locations beneath logs and rocks, funnel webs burrows where they can find a cold, humid habitat. When potential prey, such as beetles, cockroaches, and small lizards, or snails walk across silken trip lines that the spider has laid out outside its burrow, funnel webs rush out of the entrance. After that, they go back to their underground home to eat. The first aid for funnel web bites on people should be administered right away using the pressure bandage immobilization technique. As for snake bites, the victim should go to the hospital and get antivenom if required. A neurotoxin in the venom targets the human nervous system and, in the worst scenarios, can be fatal. Remember to take as many defensive precautions as possible when you see one. Number 18. Bullet Ants from the forest floor to the trees, the bullet ant is busy. It typically grows on low-lying tree stumps and lianas. This bug can be found from Nicaragua to the Amazon. Its size, second only to the greater giant hunting ant in Central America, sets it apart from other ants, Dinopanero gigantea. Compared to other hunting ants, the bullet ant has longer hair. Between the buttresses of the trees, the colony digs a nest with numerous entrances. Additionally, some arboreal ants' nests have been found. Worker defenses against vertebrates and insects, such as bullet ants, are placed around the nest. While these ants have colonies, individuals go on their hunts for sustenance.
foraging workers hunt insect prey and search for plant sap between night and sunrise. If it's cloudy, they might also search for food throughout the daytime amid the trees. One of the most excruciating insect stings or bites you can receive in Central America is from a bullet ant. When they come with a massive, dreadful creature like a person, they occasionally fall from higher tree branches and attack. The bullet ant first bites. Once the victim is firmly squeezed, it twists its abdomen and stings simultaneously. While there may be some discomfort and swelling, there is no danger of illness or death from the venom. And the bullet ants do not swarm in large numbers like army ants. Number 17. Asian Giant Hornets With the length of 1.5 to 2 inches, the Asian Giant Hornet AGH is the biggest in the entire globe. The hornets have a black thorax, a black abdomen with orange-yellow stripes, and a yellow to orange head. Japan, Korea, and other Asian nations are home to AGH. This invasive pest can attack honeybees. Asian giant hornets are normally not aggressive towards humans, although they will sting anyone who tries to handle them. Additionally, they will sting while protecting their nest or beehive they are assaulting. Although they are extremely unusual, mass hornet assaults are possible. In the worst circumstances, they can leave victims paralyzed or even dead. While the venom of an Asian giant hornets and other stinging insects is comparable, they are not the same. Because of their size, hornets have longer stingers than most wasps. Bookkeepers' typical protective attire is insufficient to shield them from stings. A larger amount of venom can be delivered by a single sting. Compared to local bees and wasps, the sting of these insects is more lethal. A sting can harm the tissue and produce severe discomfort. Asian gigantic hornets should be avoided at all costs. Never approach hornets if you are allergic to bees or wasp stings. Number 16. Baboon Spiders African tarantulas are called baboon spiders. They are a member of the mygalomorphs, a primitive group of spiders that also includes trapdoor spiders and several other families. The group is distinguished by having two sets of lungs and downward striking fangs. Most of us are familiar with spiders, rain spiders, wolf spiders, jumping spiders, and crab spiders, who belong to the more developed class of araniomorphs, which have opposing, pincer-like fangs and one pair of book lungs. Baboon spiders are easily identified by their size. They can have a leg span of 12 to 15 centimeters. Although some spiders such as rain and tropical wolf spiders can rival them, baboon spiders are significantly bigger and heavier. Anything that a baboon spider can get their paws on, it will consume. This category includes a variety of insects and other invertebrates such as beetles, grasshoppers, crickets, millipedes, and even scorpions. On rare occasions, they eat small vertebrates like geckos or even rodents. They serve food for various creatures such as birds, lizards, and mongooses. They have created several interesting self-protective mechanisms. They will extend their front legs and bodies and charge an adversary when threatened. The scopulae, unique feathery structures on many species' mouthparts, are rubbed together to create a hissing sound. A hissing, aggressive spider can be frightening to see. Number 15. Velvet Ants all velvet ants are members of the Motilidae family and have a thick mound of colorful hair that is a warning sign to potential predators. The cow killer ant, Dasimotilla occidentalis, is the most prevalent velvet ant in Nebraska, though they can be found worldwide. During the summer, they frequently wander around yards in open spaces like meadows and urban settings. Wasp or ant? This bug is a wasp rather than an ant. The females resemble ants because they lack wings, but don't panic. While wasps and ants are in the same order, they have much in common. It lacks a note or two, a feature shared by all ants on the waist. The female ant looks like a worker ant and is sizable, hairy, wingless wasp. They have a black body that can reach lengths of three quarters of an inch and are coated in coarse, vivid reddish-orange hair on the head, thorax, and abdomen. The males are larger with darker brown wings and various body color patterns. When startled, male and female velvet ants make a squeaking or chirping noise. Because of the significant morphological differences between male and female specimens, it's frequently challenging to distinguish between species. Number 14. German Yellow Jackets Vespula pensylvanica 
a native western yellow jacket, has historically been the most common yellow jacket in Southern California. The northeastern U.S. saw the establishment of the German yellow jacket in the 1970s, followed by the Pacific Northwest in the 1980s, where it spread along the coast. In 1991, it moved to Southern California and started living there. Other Vespula species exist but are not as prevalent in Southern California's metropolitan areas and are not regarded as pests. The German yellow jacket strain that has spread to California prefers to establish its nests in walls or attics of buildings. This yellow jacket species poses a greater risk to public health because of its close proximity to people. In the spring, solitary foundress queens establish new colonies in a structural hole after spending the winter in protected areas. The nest is made of a material that resembles paper mache and is built around tiers of developing wasps. The nest may become more than two feet in diameter by July or August and may contain more than 4,000 wasps. If the nest is disturbed, a group of guard wasps will attack. The guardian's aroma provokes nestmates to attack frequently inflicting many stings on the unfortunate. Since this wasp is invasive outside, like in New Zealand, it may represent a serious threat to the protection of native animals in California. Number 13. Indian Red Scorpions The most dangerous scorpion in the world is thought to be the Indian Red Scorpion, Hodentata tamulus, also known as the Eastern Indian Scorpion. Contrary to popular belief, a scorpion is not always red. It might be reddish-brown, orange, or brown. Although the Indian red scorpion does not hunt humans, it will sting in self-defense. Due to their small stature, children are more prone to die from stings. Even so, Indian red scorpions remain pets despite their deadly venom. Additionally, they are raised in captivity for scientific study. Scorpion toxins contain peptides that inhibit potassium channels and may be used to treat autoimmune diseases by suppressing the immune system. For example, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis. Some toxins may be used as anti-malarial medications in dermatology and cancer treatment. The most frequent victims are kids. Severe pain at the sting site, vomiting, sweating, shortness of breath, and alternating high and low blood pressure and pulse rate are all signs of envenomation. The venom affects the circulatory and respiratory systems and can result in pulmonary edema, which can be fatal. Administering the blood pressure medication prazosin can lower the mortality rate to under 4%, while antivenom is the only marginally affected. When exposed to venom and antivenom, some people experience severe allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis. Number 12. Wolf Spiders The family of wolf spiders includes generally big, hairy, active arachnids. Wolf spiders hunt alone, not in packs, and pursue their prey akin to wolves rather than trapping it in webs. Wolf spiders dwell everywhere they can find insects to eat, although they are most prevalent in grasslands and meadows. They can also be found in deserts, mountains, rainforests, and wetlands. Although wolf spiders can attack when threatened, humans are not at any real risk from their poison. Wolf spiders can attack people if handled improperly or caught close in the skin. There have never been any reports of a wolf spider bite leading to major medical issues. However, bitten victims may experience some redness or swelling. Wolf spiders shouldn't be handled because their bites can be extremely severe. Wolf spiders are solitary creatures that frequently forage at night while pursuing prey. According to Sulo, they are primarily nocturnal and frequently confused with tarantulas. Although they prefer to stay on the ground, these spiders may climb up trees or other structures if necessary. Their habitats consist of gravel, stream edges, and low vegetation. Wolf spiders occasionally infiltrate homes. They typically do so through basements, crawl spaces, and breezeways after entering at or near ground level. Number 11. Tarantula Hawks Wasps, known as tarantula hawks, are generally calm and rarely sting without being provoked. However, among all insect stings, the P. grossus sting is the most agonizing, even though the excruciating pain lasts only about 5 minutes. The tarantula hawk wasps hunts somewhat like a bird of prey, hence its name. In this instance, a huge, well-fed spider or a tarantula is the prey. 
the wasp pulls the paralyzed tarantula to its burrow and lays an egg on it rather than eating it. The larva burrows inside the spider's body as the egg hatches, taking care not to devour any essential organs until right before it pupates. With its diet of pollen and honey, this peaceful insect has more horrible qualities than just that. One of the most agonizing stings ever experienced by humans is that of the female tarantula hawk. Fortunately, it only causes a few minutes of misery and has no lasting effects other than to teach the person or animal never to meddle with wasps again. Most wasp-eating animals avoid this wasp because its sting is so painful. The roadrunner, the kingbird, and the bullfrog appear to be the only species that can handle it. The roadrunner will even steal its paralyzed tarantula while ignoring the wasp and looking to beat the insect senselessly before swallowing it. However, the Roadrunner's diet does not primarily consist of tarantula hawks. Number 10. Seisei Flies The biting Seisei fly is a common pest in tropical Africa. They are common in all of Tanzania's northern circuit parks, including Taranjire, Lake Manyara, and sections of the Serengeti, but not Mount Kilimanjaro. If you go on a safari, you will surely observe these insects. Seisei flies stand out for two distinct bodily traits. One, its wings can fold back entirely such that one wing sits on the other. They also have a protruding lengthy proboscis. The trypanosomiasis parasite can be spread by seisei flies from infected to uninfected humans and animals. This parasite can bring on the illness known as sleeping sickness. The effect is characterized by weariness, headaches, muscle aches, and a high fever. As the condition worsens, the central nervous system is affected, leading to sleep disturbances, psychological illnesses, seizures, comas, and even death. Even though there are no vaccines or preventatives for African sleeping sickness, there is very little chance that a seisei fly bite will cause illness. Tourists have extremely slim odds of developing African sleeping sickness. However, if you experience any potential symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. They could appear months after you leave an area where seisei is present. Number 9. Southern Flannel Moths Have you ever heard of the Megalopyge opicularis, often known as the Southern Flannel Moth? Perhaps you've seen one, but were unsure of what it was. Its appearance is highly unusual. You won't be able to miss it if you ever come across one, but you ought to avert it without doubt. The extremely painful spines protect the caterpillars until they transform into moths, and the venomous spines are no longer present. The caterpillar's spines will detach immediately and release venom into the flesh, even if you only brush past them. Sometimes the spines get stuck in the skin so deeply that they have to be pulled out with tweezers or tape, as the four-sided Texas daycare workers did. In the best case situation, sting reactions are limited to the area. What occurs more frequently though, is that the pain spreads to the entire limb and finally the entire body. It may result in rashes, bumps, or marks on the skin, burning, swelling, nausea, headaches, and abdominal pain. In more difficult situations, breathing becomes difficult for humans. Ice packs, antihistamines, baking soda paste, hydrocortisone cream, and calamine lotion are among the natural treatments for mild cases. When experiencing severe reactions, you should seek emergency medical assistance. Number 8. Mosquitoes Mosquitoes are widespread flying insects found almost anywhere in the world. There are more than 3,500 different mosquito species in the world. Not all mosquitoes bite humans or other creatures. Itching and swelling are the most frequent responses to mosquito bites in humans. Some mosquitoes have the potential to carry diseases. An animal, bug, or tick that transmits infections, germs, to people and animals is referred to as a vector. You could become ill from the viruses and parasites that mosquitoes transmit. Some mosquitoes do not spread disease when they bite. The term nuisance mosquitoes is used to describe these insects. Adult mosquitoes are present both inside and outside. A constant danger is biting mosquitoes. The lifespan of an adult mosquito ranges from two to four weeks, depending on the species, humidity, temperature, and other factors. The lifespan of a mosquito is typically shorter for males and females. Only female mosquitoes bite people and other animals to take blood from their victims. The female mosquito needs some blood before she can lay eggs. Mini vampire. When mosquitoes bite sick people or animals, they also spread viruses and parasites that cause disease. You and your family risk contracting a disease if there are just a few contaminated mosquitoes in a neighborhood. Number 7. Kissing Bugs 
In the US, there are kissing bugs, specifically the southern part of the nation. Its actual name is not that. Triatamine bugs, a subgroup of red duvid bugs, are sometimes called kissing bugs. It resembles a flying cockroach, and some people can mistake it for a stink bug. While the size of the insects varies depending on the species, kissing bugs are typically around the size comparable to the tip of your thumb. They use a long, cone-shaped nose to bite on the upper torso and face, usually close to the lips, giving them their name. Kissing bugs that have the parasite that causes Chagas disease to disseminate it. Chagas disease is brought on by a parasite called Tripo-nosoma. Cruzy, carried by several kissing bugs. The insects are active at night and typically prey on raccoons, birds, rats, opossums, cattle, cats, dogs, and even small animals like mice. They will bite people if they come into contact with them. Typically, kissing bugs will bite you when you're asleep. They fill their abdomen by sucking on the blood that collects at the bite site, which causes them to urinate in or close to it. When you awaken, you may feel the itching from the bite and rub or scratch it, unintentionally smearing the bite with parasite-infected feces. Number 6. Termites Although worker termites are more than capable of eating through the skin and can chew through wood, their teeth are too tiny to attack people. So unless you're made of wood, you don't have to worry about worker termites attacking you while you sleep, bursting out of your walls in their hundreds. Soldier termite bites are unlikely to even leave a trace on your skin. Since termites don't climb in trash cans, sewers, or other unsanitary areas, they are unlikely to carry dangerous bacteria. A termite's gut is not the best place to grow human infections. Consequently, termites are not seen as a threat to health. Termites do not use their venom to subdue their prey. You don't need to be concerned about coming into contact with one of these insects' venom. Termites are not known to transmit diseases or inject venom, but their bite is generally safe. However, termites are not completely safe. They may negatively impact your health. Damage from subterranean termites can lead to mold problems in your home. This may lead to puzzling health issues and exorbitant medical expenses. The true danger that termites provide is property damage. The inside of wood in man-made structures is the food source for these insects, which rise from the ground. This deterioration can eventually lead to significant structural problems, which are more dangerous bugs that cause human or property damage. Share your view in the comments section below. Number 5. Human Bot Flies Dermatobia hominis, or the human bot fly, is a sizable, thickly hairy insect that resembles a bumblebee. Native to Central and South America, the human bot flies, the larvae of Dermatobia hominis will inject the skin of mammals and complete their larval stage in the subcutaneous layer, resulting in painful pustules that secrete fluids. The fly is not known to transmit disease-causing pathogens. Myasis is the term for the infection of any fly larvae inside the body. Travelers who bring the parasite back from Central and South America are diagnosed with human Dermatobia hominis myasis, reported from non-native persons. Female Dermatobia hominis adults lay their developed eggs on a blood-feeding arthropod that the botfly catches in flight, typically a mosquito or a tick. Cattle and dogs are the two most typical hosts for the human botfly. However, they are present in various warm-blooded creatures, such as humans, primates, pigs, sheep, cattle, cats, and dogs. Skin lesions caused by Dermatobia hominis larvae grow raised, painful, and hard. In rare instances, when the patients take a shower or cover the lesion, they may fill in the larvae crawling. When the host reacts, there are more white blood cells and macrophages around the wound than usual. Because of this, the lesion frequently secretes pus. Number 4. Death Stalker Scorpion One of the deadliest things in the world, its venom, has been dubbed the most expensive liquid on the planet. The Death Stalker Scorpion has received much attention internationally, but does it live up to the fame? Or is it just another example of popular science exaggeration? It turns out that its notoriety is most likely well-deserved, but a heavy dose of PR wizardry and some shoddy reporting has magnified it. The Death Stalker, once known as the Yellow Scorpion, was a desert-dwelling arthropod that hunted insects for food and spent the rest of its time lurking behind rocks. 
Then, it rose to greater fame thanks to the employment of its venom in several groundbreaking cancer treatments. It subsequently became known as the Death Stalker instead, maybe because the name Yellow Scorpion isn't especially attention grabbing. Producing venom from scorpions is difficult and dangerous, and as a result, only a small amount of venom is produced from each scorpion. Even though the venom is expensive, all scorpion venom is the same. Death stalkers are not exceptionally scarce in comparison to other species. They gladly live in aquariums and eat insects, making them simple to care for and breed in captivity. Despite the expensive cost, venom labs often only buy extremely small amounts of the substance, making it not particularly profitable. The rest is used to create applications for nutraceuticals and antivenom, which are far less expensive because of volume discounts. Number 3. Black Widow Spider the common misconception that the female of a spider eats the male after mating, an occurrence that rarely occurs in nature, is the source of the spider's common name. The venom is said to be 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's, and that although fatalities are common, it can produce muscle aches, nausea, and difficulty breathing. The most recognizable feature of black widow spiders is a pair of reddish triangular markings frequently linked to form an hourglass-shaped pattern on the underside of their rhabdomen. Sometimes females are a brownish-black color. Female black widow spiders are often larger than males and range in length from 3 to 10 millimeters. Eight basic eyes, two lateral pairs that nearly touch, and eight simple legs make up a black widow spider's body. Black widow spider bite signs and symptoms include fever, elevated blood pressure, sweating, and nausea. Uh -oh. Ooh. Pain normally begins almost immediately and intensifies within one to three hours. The discomfort brought on by a black widow spider bite may last for one to three days before gradually fading. Continue reading. Spider bite symptoms, signs, and treatment. Fatalities are unlikely to occur as long as prompt medical attention is sought after a black widow spider bite. Contact a certified pest control specialist who can handle black widow spider control safety and successfully. If you see black widows or other indications of an infestation, Number 2. Fleas While certain flea species are very host-specific, such as shrew and rabbit fleas, other species parasitize many mammals. If its usual hosts are unavailable, the cat flea can infect dogs, foxes, mongooses, civets, opossums, leopards, and other mammals, including humans. Fleas that themselves are related sometimes parasitize mammals that are related to them. In comparatively recent years, bird fleas have adapted to live on birds. These have several characteristics in common, the most glaring of which is an increase in the count of comb spines on the upper surface of the thorax, which assists in securing them within the feathers. It's interesting to note that neither horses nor the bulk of undulates harbor fleas, nor monkeys or apes, the rodent family of mammals is the most commonly parasitized. The development of flea larvae is favored by making nests and holes. Fleas are less common on animals that have no permanent habitat. Even though both flea sexes consume blood voraciously and frequently with one male exception who never feeds. For instance, the rabbit flea may survive without feeding for nine months in temperatures close to below freezing. Number 1. Brown Recluse Spider the poisonous bite of the brown recluse spider is well recognized. Although it's the most widespread and abundant of brown spiders, it's often only found in the south and central regions of the country. People whom brown recluse spiders have bitten should apply eyes to the wound and seek emergency medical attention because the bites can result in necrotic, rotting skin lesions and cause serious reactions or even death in some people particularly children. However, 90% of bites from brown recluses are not harmful and heal extremely nicely, frequently without medical intervention and therapy. The Loxus seals genus of spiders including the brown recluse. These spiders are sometimes known as fiddleback or violin spiders because of the violin-shaped markings on the top of their cephalothorax, the area where the legs are attached, and the head and thorax are merged. These mostly nocturnal spiders create webs that serve as shelters and trigger systems, notifying them when prey is passing nearby so they may aggressively hunt it down. Insects like silverfish and crickets are typical foods they consume. When dawn approaches, brown recluse spiders seek out dark, protected hiding spaces. In the wild, they may do so in rock crevices, but if they are close to people, they may camp out on or near objects like shoes or in areas where humans have altered the environment, such as around trash cans, rubber tires, or tarps. Be careful out there, and never try to hold these bugs when you come across them. Like and share this video with your family and friends.